us to form three mathematics. I would like us to look at uh, a question here to do with probability. Probability. So here is the question. Two dice where one is a regular tetrahedron, a tetrahedron lander, you are told that it has four faces, and the other die is a cube are tossed together, they are thrown together. The sum, look at this learner, the sum of the two upper faces is obtained. Then you are told, draw a table to show all the possible outcomes. To show all the possible outcomes. So what do you do, learner? You draw a table, I've already drawn it here. So here, you fix your cube. A cube has how many faces, Lana? A cube has how many faces? It has six faces, one, two, three, and the others. You end up with six faces. So numbers are normally written on this die, one, two, three, four, five, six on the other faces, and therefore a cube has six faces. You come and put them here. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the number of sides of the, uh, of the cube there. The number of sides of the cube. Hi, from there, we now go to our tetrahedron. A tetrahedron line has four faces. It looks like something like this, roughly. A triangle it is made up of triangles. A triangle like that, Lana, and all the triangles are equal. That is the first triangle, the bottom. Then you have one on this side. Those are two. Another one on this side, Lana, look at this. This is the third one. And then the fourth one behind there, behind. So this is a tetrahedron made up of four equal triangles. So it has four faces. So you come and fix it here, Lana. You fix the numbers here. One, two, you know, this, uh, on this day you have the numbers one, two, three, four, you know. So you come and fix them here. One, two, three, four. So here we have fixed the sides of our tetrahedron, Lana. So the two are tossed together. They are thrown together. The cube and the tetrahedron are thrown together. And then we are told that the sum of the two upper faces is obtained. The sum, sum means addition. So the sum of the two upper faces are obtained. So like here, you talk of how do you get the sum? You say one plus one gives you two. Then one plus two, three. Yeah, just adding the upper faces. One plus three, four, one plus that, five, one plus five, six, and then seven. So we want to come up with all the possible outcomes. Let me put a boundary there so that we can now be able to see all the possible outcomes inside here. So, so there we are. So we come here again, two plus one, Lana, gives us three, two plus two, four, two plus three, five, two plus, two plus four, six, two plus five, seven, two plus six, eight. We go to this, three with one would give us four, three plus two gives us five, three plus four gives us, sorry, three plus three gives us six, three plus four gives us seven, three plus uh, Five gives us eight, three plus six gives us nine. We go to the last row here. Two, uh, sorry, four plus one gives us five. Here we'll get six. You add this plus this, you get seven. Four plus four, eight. Four plus five, nine. And four plus six gives us ten. So learn, these are the possible outcomes and closed in this uh, rectangle here, those ones here.
starting from here downwards like that. So with this learner, you are now asked, you are told to draw a table to show all the possible outcomes. These are the outcomes, all these. How many are they? How many are they? We talk of one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. Four times six will give you 24. Or if you counted literally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that, you'd get 24, 24 possible outcomes. From the Alana, we are told, find the probability that the sum is six. Find the probability that the sum is six. You come to these possible outcomes here. You look for six. Six is here, Lana. Six is here, Lana. We have it here and we have it here. How many six are these? One, two, three, four. So you have four. The probability is four. Out of what? All the possible outcomes here, Lana, we have said that we have 24 outcomes. So out of 24, you simplify this like that you get 1 over 6. 1 over 6. From the Alana, we go to the second, the sum, the probability that the sum is an odd number. The probability that the sum is an odd number. We look at our outcomes, Lana. If you look at all these outcomes, the smallest outcome is 2 and the highest is 10. So which are these odd numbers between odd numbers between 2 and 10? The odd numbers are 3, the odd numbers are 5, followed by 7 and finally 9. Followed by 7 and finally 9. So you go to your table and you look for these. How many these are there? 1, 2. What about 5s? 1, 2, 3, 4. What about 7? 1, 2, 3, 4. What about 9? 1, 2. You count all those. You talk of 1, 2, Lana, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you have 12 uh, odd numbers there. So 12 out of what, Lana? The probability will be 12 out of 20. Four. You work that out, you simplify it, you get a half. That the probability that the sum is an odd number is a half. We go to the last one here, Lana. What are you told? You are told to find this, uh, the probability that the sum is either 6 or 9. The probability is either 6 or 9. You look for the probability of 6, Lana. From our table here, the probability of 6, or we had even calculated it here, the probability of 6 is 1 over 6. That is 4, we had done it, out of 24. So the probability is 1 over 6, Lana. Then, if you come across all, Lana, if you come across all, you add. Or in probability means you add. So you go to the probability of 9. The probability of 9 is how many 9s do you have? You just have 1, 2. So you talk of 2 out of what? 24. Lana. And therefore you work out this. This will be 1. This will be 12. Using the calculator you add and therefore you end up with a quarter. The probability that the sum is either 6 or 9 is a quarter. This all here, Lana, you replace it with plus. So that is all, Lana. Go and practice on such problems. God bless you.